Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Alvarez has got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Crawford's ring walk is very interesting here. This isn't over-the-top emotion. This isn't a guy with an intense, glaring stare. Just a guy going to do his job. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Nice block by Blood. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Be interested to see early on here how much an advantage there is with speed. Alvarez is full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's going to have to. Do that again! Good block. through round number one he clinches when he gets to the inside blocks that punch blood swinging and missing like he's at bat right there that punch was nowhere near his opponent and you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head able to land another power shot early on here teddy does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? Crawford stumbled back. He just got hurt. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, right off the bat, he goes down. Round number one, and he's on the floor. Came out a little careless, and he paid a price. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just Get a sense that he's going to be okay. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Last 10 seconds of this first round. What a forceful hook by Blood. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Crawford's got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. Scored well up top. He missed with that headshot. He's tied. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Oh, 
Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Blood. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Crawford's clearly affected by that. Alvarez's power is shining through now, and he's actually just pushing his opponent away, trying to set up another big shot. Well, the key here is, does the referee allow him to keep doing it? If he does, he's going to get him right at the distance he wants where he can nail him a big shot. Able to dismiss that body shot. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Protecting his head well with his guard. Work the body! Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Blood's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round, and you just get a sense that he's a bigger, better fighter than he was before. Well, I agree with you, Joe. You it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now. We're on the stage. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart. Keep busy. And don't take a break with this guy. You hear me? Crawford's back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. And a big right hand by Blood. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Forceful uppercut by Alvarez. Alvarez's punch didn't come close. Oh, you're doing great. Blocks that belt line well. Nice work, nice work. Alvarez is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. A stinging uppercut by Alvarez. Relax. Keep working the jab. Good, good. Keep moving, keep moving. Crawford's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Flush right hand to the body. Watch that! Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Good defense, just covering up down low. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Oh, what a devastating hook! Ricardo Alvarez is... And that's the end of round three. This is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Just don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Beautiful. Nice movement there. Just keep that up. Just keep moving. Listen, I'm not going to stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see. He has had this fight go exactly as he has wanted it to go early on. As we begin round number four, he's up three rounds to zip. The only thing you have to worry about is he hurt his opponent very easily early on. Does he now take for granted that he's going to do that anytime One, he two. wants and forget One, about the fundamentals, forget about the jab and the other things he knew he had to use coming into this fight? Oh! 
Scored well with that straight left. Crawford's making me wonder if his legs Someone are really, hit. truly nice. underneath him after being stunned earlier. I mean, you see him clinching here, Teddy. And right now, he's starting to wonder whether or not that should be his nickname. Blood's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Crawford's the victim of a powerful hook. And just looking to chop down his opponent. A forceful hook to the head by Blood. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Crawford's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. That's a razor-sharp uppercut. Ricardo Alvarez is... Nice! Crawford's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. That's just like a little love shove right there. Just a little love shove to give yourself some room. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Final 10 seconds. Good body shot, the right hand came home. Very clean offense from defense by Blood. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. He tried to nab Unload. him up top, but was unable to connect. Now he ties up there. And he clinches yet again. Crawford is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Head and body, head and body. Blood rocked by a hook to the body. Halfway into round number five here. And a power shot lands, and all of a sudden it turns the tables. A little slow with that jab, and he got caught the right hand. Blood's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. On the mark with a straight left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. Scores up top with a left. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Keep him away from you, all right? Okay, okay. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath.
It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Alvarez's defense has been just unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, to he takes such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good, because he hug. doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. I want to see halfway through round six oh. Alvarez is in a tough spot right now boy he got rocked One, two, one, two. Jam, jam. And he engages in the clinch. Crawford's hurt. Wow, is he hurt. He was the one doing the hurt just moments ago. Well, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. What a revealing round we just saw. Each man was able to hurt the other. You really can tell how much is on the line here between these two. Yeah, they both came here. I mean, they're in the best shapes of their career. They came here understanding what this fight means. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your hand. Here we are, the start of another round. And if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will. But maybe he'll change the script a little. Flip the script a bit. He parries that punch intended for the head. Alvarez is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Alvarez is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. He's tired. Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him and then all of a sudden appear on him. At the halfway point of round seven. A well-placed left hand up top. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. Body and head, body and head. 
double up on your punches. Double up your body punches, then head. Don't worry about it. Get in your rhythm, okay? You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Blood's hope for winning this fight is not slipping away. I know you see Teddy's scorecard there, and you say, how could he possibly make a comeback? Teddy, it's pretty obvious. Both guys are landing punches. Yeah, as long as you can touch the guy, as long as you can find the guy, and you have power, and he has power, you can still get the job done. You can pull it out. To the head he goes with a left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Crawford. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Crawford's well off the mark that time. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. You got this one. Crawford's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Alvarez is giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is start to take away some of that head movement. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Blood's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Block counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Blood's right in this fight. Now he's trailing on the cards, at least in our opinion, but it's there for the taking. Focus for me. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. I need you to sit down on your punches. Sit down on your punches, all right? We got it. When you get close, uppercut. to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Well-timed by Alvarez. Took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. That's a massive left hand by Blood. Let it go. Stunned, but all of a sudden now surviving. Unable to make an impact there by blood. Unload! Nice! Alvarez is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. Oh, so he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. Nice so jab work. a little nice lower. Work. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Keep working the jam. Good, good. Last 10 seconds. Oh, 
The end of the round is upon us, and now this fighter will hear some attaboys from his corner. He just got to his man good. He did, and he's feeling real good now, having that kind of round. But he also has to hear something else from his corner. Don't forget how you got to that point. Don't get intoxicated. Don't get drunk by the success of that one punch. You're fighting his rhythm, okay? Don't fight his fight. There you go. And now they start round number 10. Crawford's going out there trying to prove that he's in a good spot. That what happened in the last round is not lingering into this round. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Good. And he just holds Finish on there. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Keep working the body. Jump on him. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Everybody, guard your head. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Carries the punch, comes back with the hook. Listen, you need to move your head from side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Oh, time. He's got nothing left, okay? Now you're closing the gap. Good round. Good round. But what you gotta do got is it. you gotta keep it up, right? You, 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 you can't give up nothing, okay? Don't give him anything. Keep the punches coming. Combinations. Bam, bam, bam. Round number 11 here, and I'm looking at your scorecard. Alvarez is hope for winning this fight, not yet cemented. He still has a lot of work to do. No, that cement takes time to settle. You know, it takes time to set. And you can still move things around while it's still soft. It's up to his opponent. Does he want to move things around? How much does he want this? A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good clean five. shot, returning fire. Well done by Alvarez. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Blood's been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching chamber. He's starting to launch him just a little too soon, and his opponent is warned. Ninety seconds to go in this eleventh round. Active body. Now Active hugging on the seat. inside. You're not Pace yourself. Nice. 
Nice! Jab! Jab! Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Smart. This is it. Last round, right? Keep it smart. You got it. All right, listen. Listen, I'm not going to stand there and let you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some defense and more. arrived who wants it more oh and he got caught right there everything was going fine and then he got caught well that's the problem was going too fine he got a full sense of security the other guy wasn't throwing back he took for granted and bang you can't take for granted one, two. in this ring one two <laughs> he's tight he's tight He's tired. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. He just missed that shot up top. There you go. He's tired. Go, go. Not much action as he just ties up. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Crawford's got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary like this. Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. Last minute of this last round. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by blood. on your punches. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love him oh. by Ricardo Alvarez. Hurt by a big shot. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there. So you want to get there. Right now, he's doing things without thinking, naturally. Which way did it go after a very exciting fight now in the books? Let's send it up to the ring to find out. Alvarez is your winner by a unanimous decision. Well, he started going to the body, and it paid off for him, and it paid off for us. A good, solid fight. It was indeed, and we're glad you were with us to witness it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.